They are talking about the possibility of sending NATO military to Ukraine. But we remember the fate of those who once sent their contingents to our country. <coughs> but now the consequences for possible interventionists will be much more tragic. We also have weapons that can hit targets on their territory. And they should understand that what they are doing now trying to scare the whole world. It does risk a conflict with nuclear weapons, which means the destruction of civilization. Russia is ready for dialogue with the United States on the issues of strategic stability. But there is something I would like to point out, dear colleagues, so that everyone understands me right. In this case, we are dealing with a state whose leadership are openly taking hostile actions against us. So what are they seriously going to discuss strategic stability with us, when at the same time they are trying to deal with us? As they say it themselves, this is a strategic defeat on the battlefield. Recently, more and more unsubstantiated accusations have been made against Russia. For example, that we are allegedly going to deploy a nuclear weapon in space. Such misinformation is a ploy only to drag us into negotiations on their own terms which are favourable only to the United States. And at the same time they are blocking our proposal which has been on their table for more than 15 years. I am referring to the draft on preventing the deployment of weapons in space, which we prepared back in 2008. It is necessary to strengthen our military groups in the Western strategic direction to neutralize threats associated with the next expansion of NATO to the east, with the inclusion of Sweden and Finland in the alliance.